I think the way to become the wise old man you want to become is to do the things the wise old man will have had done when he is who the person you are now is. I'm really excited to see the wise old man you end up being, and it kinda sounds like you want to be either a professor or an author. Getting back to the subject of communication, I think there's something that you and I are both bad at. I think in general we can agree that all humans are just worthwhile individuals and everybody should be acknowledged as human. When somebody does a bad thing, we should acknowledge that there's a bad thing that was done and that's unfortunate, but the person who did the bad thing doesn't deserve to be punished unless the punishment will help him or her do better things in the future. People don't inherently deserve to suffer for any reason other than to cause less suffering to other humans, and you'll have to find a way to accept the existence of all humans regardless of the quality of their actions. And you shouldn't try to measure humans by the quality of their actions. Because humans are a lot more complicated than that, and the people you might see as good people will often do bad things, and the people you see as bad people will often do good things. Nonetheless, people do some pretty bad things. And a lot of that is just people acting on ignorance, and you and I both seem to have a big problem with that one. And I think both of us seem to want to help people fix their ignorance, but neither of us are very good at trying to make it seem like we're just trying to help them fix something that they need to work on. It seems like we both often imply that people are bad because they're ignorant when we're trying to help them learn something. Or even when we're just trying to converse. For instance, in my Magic Isn't Real video, Although I fully believe that people that believe horoscopes are valid are just as worthwhile individuals as those who don't, I still found it very difficult to say that horoscopes aren't valid while not implying that people who believe horoscopes are valid are bad. And that's a challenge for me all the time, and I've been trying to work on it, and I still offend people occasionally by implying that they're ignorant or stupid. I'd like to stop that. And Robert, that's probably something that we both do because we grew up with each other, and when I had some sort of ignorant belief in my head, you would correct it, and you wouldn't be very sensitive about it, and I had to learn not to take it personally, and as a result, I never learned to not word it personally. But it was never a problem that I didn't know how to word it impersonally, because I didn't talk to anybody outside the family until I was halfway through high school. And I think you still do that kind of thing pretty often. Like, I bet when you're hanging out with friends and feel like saying something insightful about a book or video game, after you say it, they probably all feel ignorant or stupid. I don't know exactly how to not do that, but I think we should both try because it's pretty important. And for next week, I suggest we do a little project. It's something that I do every now and then, but you are still probably better at. And that's to tell a story. It should just be a normally length YouTube video, but it should be a short story. In addition, I will try to make a How To Be Robert video. I just have to figure out how to be you first.